exchanges, access to more information between our folks. You recently launched your re-election campaign. You've said questions about your age are legitimate, and your response is always, just watch me. But the country is watching, and recent polling shows that 70% of Americans, including a majority of Democrats, believe you shouldn't run again. What do you say to them? What do you say to those Americans who are watching and aren't convinced? You've said you can beat Trump again. Do you think you're the only one? I may not be the only one, but uh, uh, I know him well, and I know the danger he presents to our democracy, and we've been down this road before. And with regard to, uh, to age, you know, and, and polling data, I noticed the polling data I keep hearing about is that I'm between uh, uh, 42 and 46 percent favorable rating, et cetera. And, uh, but everybody running for re-election in this time has been in the same position. There's nothing new about that. We're making it sound like Biden's really underwater, um, and uh, number one. Number two, when the same polling data asks whether they think what kind of job I've done, it gets overwhelmingly positive results from 58 percent thinking everything from the CHIPS Act and the, all, all the things we've done. And commitment and, and, and impact on industries that, in fact, are the cutting-edge industries. We have economic growth moving. We're in a situation where the climate, we've invested more money and more help in dealing with the climate crisis than any nation in the world. And so things, things are moving. And uh, the reason I'm running again is there's a job to finish. The other thing is that, look, you know, think about what I inherited when I got elected. I inherited a, a nation in overwhelming debt at the time number one, in the hole for the four years that he was president. I inherited a nation that had a serious loss of credibility around the world as America first. And, you know, the first meeting I attended the G7, I said, America's back. And one of the world leaders looked and said, for how long? For how long? There's a great concern about the United States being able to lead the free world. And we're doing that again. And those same polls you look at, you take a look at the polls, they're saying whether I pull together NATO and the European Union as well as Asian partners, I think we have. But there's more to do. And uh, with regard to age, uh, I can't even say, I guess how old I am, I can't even say the number. It doesn't, it doesn't register with me. And, uh, but the only thing I can say is that um, one of the things that people are going to find out, they're going to see a race, and they're going to judge whether or not I have it or don't have it. I respect them taking a hard look at it. I take a hard look at it as well. I took a hard look at it before I decided to run. And, uh, and I feel good. I feel excited about the prospects. And I think we're on the verge of really turning the corner in a way we haven't in a long time. Are you damaging a key ally in the competition with China to help your domestic politics ahead of the election?